Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, I hope you're well wherever you are. Thank you for watching this video just to start off with. I always really appreciate it. And today what I wanna do is talk a little bit about the state of the channel and the videos that I'm making and where I wanna take all of this because um, it's been a very up and down year. We've gotten to uh, about 46,000 subscribers, which is uh, an amazing achievement. I wanna get to 50 basically in the next few months and then up to 100 over the next year. That's kind of the goal. And what I wanna do today is talk about how I'm gonna do that and how I'm gonna try and change things up a little bit and basically make things a little more authentic, a bit more positive. Uh, I'm not very happy with the way I've been making videos for the last year. Um, I think that a lot of people can feel that as well. Uh, maybe you feel like it's it's too, like I'm trying to sell something. Even the mod spotlights can be a little bit too good, good, and you know, amazing and not as critical as they should be. And that's down to me. Uh, and I, I totally agree with you. I think that, you know, mods are amazing. And the approach that I've had to them in Total War is to support them and to support them in a way that reaches people that may have never heard of them and get them to try it that because that's the biggest hurdle for mods in in any game really it's they exist and they're amazing pieces of work but um people are either not really aware of them or uh they are and they've just never considered trying them and there are lots of reasons for that obviously um and you know i think a lot of it has to do with the ease of access how how to download and install bug issues you know how it changes the game too much and so yeah my approach has basically been kind of like uh, almost like a salesman uh, I will make videos that reaches as many people as possible uh, to kind of tell them that mods exist and they're absolutely worth trying they're a completely new way to play games and and you know obviously it's not going to be perfect there are always going to be problems but it's worth talking about the good stuff more than the problems is the way i've felt essentially o over the last year i've gone ups and downs of making lots of content seeing great success uh, through my videos through live streams as well that I've, I've had a bit of a pause on for a little while and especially throughout this journey with the release of total war pharaoh i haven't felt the same amount of motivation as when i started the channel to begin with that first uh, 18 months of just playing the games, uh, making videos about mods that I've just discovered and really uh, enjoying them and trying to get people to play them as well and have also a bit of hope for Total War and its future. I think with Total War Pharaoh especially, that took a massive dent. Um, I felt very negative and critical of Creative Assembly and the, the, the decisions that they were making for the series. And I've basically come to realize that they that may never change. And that's kind of a, a negative conclusion to make. You know, there is always, and there should be hope uh, for the future. If, if you wanna have good, positive games, you should you should make that known. You know, you should be able to express that. Uh, it's, it's definitely not a, a bad thing to do. And you shouldn't, you know, withhold your views. If you feel that way, uh, a positive and constructive discussion online is is done through expressing your opinions, I believe. So I, I think that's a good thing to do. It's just in the last six months, eight months, I've had a bit more of a negative opinion about everything. And I want to change that. So that's how it's been so far in the channel. I think it's been a fantastic, honestly, adventure to take what I've learned in various ways to uh, write scripts and create thumbnails and kind of uh, tailor it all and work on it all, make it efficient and fun and creative and uh and and successful that's i've kind of treated this as a sort of business um as much as it is a creative outlet um I think the creativity has waned over uh, over time, and it's been much more of a how do I make it as successful as possible. Whereas now, I kind of I'm aware of that a lot more, and I want to make it more creative than it has been. So the future of the channel is very much, um, you know, this is me affirming the fact that things are going to be a little bit different from now on. I am going to continue to make mod spotlights to talk about new mods and old mods. You know, it's always I think worth revisiting mods that I've already talked about. Uh, talking about them in a new way, maybe now I can be a bit more critical and talk about those problems that I've kind of um, 
ignored, skipped over in the past, and uh, and just discuss it in a more interesting, engaging, critical way, essentially, um, through my script writing and through more uh, immersive and interesting visuals as well. So yeah, that's one way how things are going to be a little bit different on the channel, the content that I'm doing here. It's going to be the same kind of stuff, uh, mod spotlights, checking out other uh, games, medieval games, and, and just generally historical games, especially in the strategy genre. Um, but just a bit more of me through it all. I hope you can uh, uh, appreciate that. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's been a bit difficult to do that, but now I wanna I wanna really focus on being my authentic self th through the videos that I'm making, and part of that also is live stream. So I'm gonna be live streaming uh, again full time. I would say at least once a week, definitely uh, as much as I can. I, I want to go for two. Uh, if I find the time, sometimes three times a week. Um, that will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and maybe even one on the weekend if I have the time, which usually I do. Um, so that would be really fun to do. And it's not just going to be on YouTube as well. I'm going to be doing a little research, setting up the tech to do this, but I want to do it on Twitch as well. Uh, dual streaming on YouTube and Twitch. So if you're more of a, you know, I watch a lot of people on Twitch. Uh, I think it's a great platform. I really enjoy doing that as well. Um, I'll be doing it on both. So I'll be dropping a link in the video description for uh, my Twitch uh, account, which I've never really live streamed on in the past. So yeah, you can you can follow me along in this journey of, of video making and, and, and gaming and playing on both of these platforms now, YouTube and Twitch. So that's one uh, another Another kind of big change that's happening. Uh, live streams are coming back, and uh, I'm, I'm going to be trying to add Twitch into the mix as well, which should be quite cool. The other way that I'm trying to experiment with and seeing how creative content can be made is through short form content, through short form videos, M videos that are about a minute long, so 30 seconds to a minute long. And how I'm experimenting with that is on TikTok at the moment. So I'm posting. Uh, about a video a week. Uh, and if you're not aware of it, I've added a link in the video description below as well. So you can go in there and if you enjoy, you know, shorter, uh, kind of snappier styles of videos, they're going to be making a home there. I'm actually going to be starting that on Instagram, uh, uh, I think pretty soon as well. I think Instagram is a great little platform to just do the same kind of thing, post and see what happens, see if people enjoy it, be a bit more creative and experimental with the kinds of videos that I'm making, shorter, snappier, cinematic or insightful you know, useful, valuable uh, videos that people might find interesting and engaging. Um, so that's going to happen as well. TikTok channel is again down in the video description. So if that sounds good to you, go in and follow and uh, keep up with the videos that I'm posting there. Um, at the moment, as I said, it's once a week, but I'll be doing that kind of I'm increasing it uh, to three times a week. So that should be a bit more regular, a bit more interesting as well. Finally, I just want to say that Content is great. Content is the future. And I think that more and more people are going to be making their own content. You know, um, creativity is an amazing thing. And the fact that we have access to YouTube, to TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is, the, the outlet of being able to record this small little thing and just posting it and seeing how it goes is such an amazing thing to be able to do. I think a lot of people, and it's very easy to get into the trap of watching you know, reels over and over and just being intimidated by the professionalism and the crisp uh, videos that, you know, loads of people out there are making. And, and it's almost like, I can't do this. This is too good. How can I compete? Um, I don't know how any of this works or where I might start. Uh, and I firmly believe that this is the future of, of content. It's going to get um, uh, more and more interesting, engaging, creative and I'm basically starting a, a sort of business based of everything based on everything that I've learned and experienced uh, through this channel so far on helping people create content. Um, you know, giving them a bit of guidance on how to start it, you know, the motivations, uh, the process of it, uh, a kind of a guidance in the ins and outs of a platform, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, or something else. And the the, the also, also just the basic principles of, of how to create content, the strategy behind, you know, setting yourself up for success in content making. Um, so, what I'm trying to say is, if that sounds like something that would be valuable to you, if you have always thought, you know, 
Hey, that's a really cool thing that I do regularly. I think a lot of people might enjoy it, but you just don't know where to start or it's just intimidating. Reach out to me. Uh, I'm on Discord. I've dropped my email down below as well. Um, I'm also dropping links to my LinkedIn, my uh, my X or Twitter <laughs> account, and something called Substack. If you've never heard of that, I'm going to be posting um, kind of more regular tips and uh, you know useful, valuable information that people can use in their journey in creating content, either for fun or a side hustle or or as a business. If you want to start making content with the goal in a year, two years, whatever time to um, grow it into something that will make you money eventually. Um, it's, it's all super possible. And really, the biggest hurdle is that first step. So whether you've already started it or you're thinking about starting it, I would like to help you. And if that sounds like something that would be useful to you, then reach out to me with those links below in the video description, as I just said. Um, so that's it for today, guys. That's a bit of a channel update, a bit of a personal life update as well in terms of how I'm treating this channel, how I have treated it, and where I want to take it moving forward, but also how I want to use the experience, the skills that I've learned, the valuable lessons I've learned in the last three years uh, making this channel um, to help others, uh, to kind of guide you through your own potential journey in content making. Because as I said, seriously, I think that content, uh, it's, it's a very overused word, but and it's basically a proxy for creativity that isn't just creativity on its own for the sake of it, but that has an end goal, right? That is really what content is. And I want to help others um, realize maybe, you know, that it's that it's worth doing and you can do it. It's easier than you think. And I'm, I'm very willing and I'd like to be able to help you. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it gives you a little hope about the direction of the channel because it's been quite up and down. I think you probably feel that as well. Um, and I'm quite hopeful and excited about it. Uh, all as well. So I hope that shines through. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting six months uh, with everything that I'm planning, the strategy that I'm going to be following through. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Wherever you are, have a good day and week. Uh, and, and thank you again for being a subscriber here, for supporting what I do and your donations, your views, your likes, your everything. It's all super really, really appreciated. Um, I'll see you on Monday for a brand new video and the kind of beginnings of a brand new start to this channel. All right. Bye-bye, guys.